making my easy tomato and basil lasagna roll-ups. What? Oh, yeah. This is Carpe Peel on 10. All right, so this is a great dish for the whole family. It's such an easy dinner to throw together during the week. And I start by doing this quick hack of how to get your lasagna noodles pliable without being over pliable and like breaking apart. So I've got like 12 in here and my baking uh, sheet that's got the lips, right? Or the edge. This is piping hot water. Just pour oh, it out. Oh, right out of the kettle. Huh? Right out of the kettle, right over the top. Make sure you cover it. One you actually fresh. should move them around a little bit if you see like they might stick before you cover them up with aluminum foil, just so they make sure you've got moisture between all of them. And then just cover it up about 15 to 20, maybe 25 minutes, and they're perfection. Take a look at that. And these are, wow. Are these yeah. regular lasagna? Just not the regular. No bake, right? Yeah, they're not the no bake or the no boil. They're just regular OG lasagna noodles. And you can see right here, nice and al dente, pliable, but not like break apart. Um, so when they come out of the sheet, if you need to, you can give them a little, a little dry. I'm gonna make the filling, okay? So ricotta cheese. This is an Italian shredded cheese blend. Get a couple of eggs whisked in there. Just gonna kind of hold it together, make sure it doesn't all completely melt. Some uh, parsley, some basil. I want the super herby, just like, you know, littered with herbs. Littered. And then to bring it up a little bit, I always add in some lemon zest. Cool. And a little bit of spice of the red chili peppers. That's it. That's it. No yeah. bechamel, it's so, no, it's nice. It's not light. at all. Nice light. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some black pepper. The cheese already carries a little bit of salt, but it's okay to, for good measure. Throw some down. And then just get in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, about half. And then I like to kind of tilt it corner to corner, full <laughs> coverage. Now, remember, I've got the lasagna noodles that I kind of dried off. They were sitting for about 15, 25 minutes in that piping hot water and the steam coming up from the uh, aluminum foil. And then just kind of get in here. It's about a quarter of a cup. And then just start rolling. Oh, man. How could these not be good? Don't do a tight roll, either. Just kind of be really nice and gentle about it. That's cute. It's cute. That's cute. It's cute. Right? So we're not done yet. Now we're just going to pour over the top the remaining Rest. sauce. Make sure you get it out. Now, if you're like you're my mom, you'll add a little bit of water. Yeah, no, Switch it right around and get everything out. Nothing but wrong. make sure you pick a sauce with ripe tomatoes. That way it's sweet and it's delicious. All right, so there it is, 375 degrees. My oven is at that. I'm going to cover this up with a little bit of aluminum foil. And then it's gonna cook for about 20, 25 minutes, and then uncover it. And when you uncover it, it's really just so you get some of those crispy tops. You Gotta know what I'm saying? Top. All right, 375, and oh, thank you, Jeezy. Yeah. Gentlemen. And I'll take that one out. Put this one in the bottom. Got it. Here it is, is oh, you guys. Oh, yes. A nice sprinkle over the entire top of some parm. Oh. Hey, 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 and then I just like to come in and marry it. So a little bit of fresh parsley, a couple of pieces of fresh basil going in the little top chimney there. Sunny. And there you have it. Perfect, the tomato, the, everything is so delicious and tasty and just perfectly seasoned. The cheese is just the right amount of cheese. I actually like this better than the regular lasagna. Way to go. <laughs>